Yo, yo, what to it do? It's your boy, the SRT God. I'm back on your screen with another legendary video, man. Woo-wee. We got a guy up here with his blinker on. They're not even turning. Like, yo, man, if you're going to put your goddamn blinker on, get the fuck over. Man, come on. Get over. Oh, now we're going to turn it on. Oh, now we're going to turn it back on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool, man. Go back to driving school. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's go time, man. We are on our way to the Minnesota Mile Car Show. Man, today's going to be legendary as shit for me. Um, you can't even make this shit up. You know what I'm saying? You guys will understand and see what I'm talking about when the video continues to go on, but you guys can't make this up. I get a chance of a lifetime to drive something that I've always wanted to drive, man. So today is, uh, I'm actually more nervous than a whore in church right now. I ain't even gonna bullshit you. I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous, but it's a dream thing that I've always wanted to do. So this is what I'm talking about, man. You got to surround yourself with people that believe in you, right? So the people that I've been surrounding myself with have a lot of belief in myself and believe in what I'm doing and believe in me. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. So you guys are going to understand what I'm doing and what, what I'm going to actually drive uh, coming up in the video pretty soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. But we are going to head down to Minneapolis, Minnesota, downtown at the convention center. They are doing this big car show. Um, I got invited to get to go there. You know, obviously with the car that I have, a lot of people want to see, a lot of people want to check it out, which I'm, I'm blessed to be able to say that I have it. And, um, you know, and it's mine, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's pretty legendary for me. Uh, like I said, I've always wanted to be able to be in these kind of cars. I've always wanted one, but at, at this whole summer has just been crazy with the car situation. You guys see me in a lot of car shows. That's been a lot of my content is the car shows. And you know, that's gonna get all changed up. We're gonna change a lot of different content as well and throw different things in there. But right now I've just been really focusing on cars, the car shows, the car world. I've just been getting a lot of um, people reaching out for wanting to do photo shoots with it and, and everything. So it's been something I've been grasping onto a little bit and, and opening up those doors to a different avenue that I'm not even used to and I'm a rookie to it. So, you know, in the YouTube world, the car world is very saturated. I get that 100%. It's very saturated. Very few people make a lot of money doing this. And that's why, you know, when I do my YouTube videos, hey man, if they go if they go crazy, awesome. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, I, I'm getting closer and closer to getting monetized. But at the same time, I don't need YouTube money. And that's what I, I'm trying to tell a lot of these people. I do this YouTube stuff for fun. Is it cool if I, when I start getting paid and I start making some money on it and everything? Absolutely. But I don't need YouTube to buy my cars. Will it help buy me more expensive cars and better cars? Absolutely. But it's not 100% my income. I have a lot of different income. And that's where a lot of people don't tell you guys that YouTube for me is just a side hustle. It's not, you know, if I make money, cool, but I, I, I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? So I have my money elsewhere. Me and my wife are doing different things uh, to have multiple incomes. And that's what's up. That's what you have to do if you want to be successful and make more money, right? So it takes money to make money. I've heard that for years. And we've actually done that a ton this year. Um, even with the, with the, the vid going on, we've really put money elsewhere to be able to I'll live a better life as the years go on. Don't you think? Oh, definitely. So, it, it's been, I'm, this year has been really good for me and us together as well. And um, like I said, man, I, I do this YouTube stuff for fun. I want you guys to understand that anybody can fucking do this, man. I, I work full time and I have a car like this. My wife's got a car like that. You know what it is? We got a slingshot. We, you know, we have, we have a, a nice house in my opinion. Um, so, for the ones that are dogging on me saying that I'm this and I'm that, I don't really give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I'm living me and I'm doing me. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it's at. But anyways, I'm done with the ranty bullshit. We are on our way to my buddy's house to grab one hell of a car. Actually, two hell of a cars. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. This is worth $5 million. $5 million worth of cars yeah, that we're gonna amazing. be fucking rolling in. You know what I'm saying? So. Before I back into this goddamn semi and hit his ass because I'm looking at the camera, making sure y'all see my sexy ass, let's get to his house, let's jump in these cars. The wife is gonna drive the Hellcat for the first time, so I'm nervous about that. Yeah. And uh, let's get this let's get this video going. As you guys can see, I am in a Ford GT. I am 
more nervous than a whore in church. Get out, guys. $2.3 million car. The wrap is still even on the doors, man. This is no joke. And I got a bigger one up there. I'll show you all that later, but dude, this is fucking badass. I'm in a 4 GT. Man, this is wild, dude. This is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have much room in here, man. I'm 6'2", 250 pounds, and I'm I'm in here like a sardine, but it's worth every second of it, man. The car is back there. If y'all could see, the car is back there. But I'll give you guys some more insight on this car once we get going and get to the show and meet up with our peeps. Man, this is crazy, man. I have one excited mother. Dude, baby. Yeah. All right, man. You guys know what it is, man. <laughs> the cat is on the looking sexy as hell. Now, don't get it messed up, man. I'm sitting here right next to a freaking $2.5 million car with another one. Two GTs, man. I am in that square, man. That's where I'm at. That's my level. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys, man. Let's go check out some cars.
So check this shit out, man. You want to talk about the lineup? Here's one for you. Nobody is gonna beat this lineup. I'm telling you right now. Put it on YouTube. Put it on wherever, man. But you are not gonna beat this lineup. That's crazy. This right here. I'll give you guys the reviews on this one and that one later. This one here, I show you guys the inside of it in a minute. All right, guys. So, like I told you before. This car is a 2006 Ford GT500. This is the real deal, man. I'm telling y'all. As you guys can tell, I was in the I was in the 2020. This is the 2006 Ford. I mean, it's just legit, man. You got all the buttons, everything. This is a manual. The reason I'm not driving this one, guys, is because the reverse is super close to the to the fifth gear, so to the first gear. So I don't want to drive this one and screw up the fucking tranny. Let's see how the doors open up. That's fucking crazy, man. Just like this, motor crazy. I'm not gonna show the license plate because I'm not. I would like to show the back end of it, but. I'm not gonna show too much of it just because the license plate's in the back and I got respect, so we ain't gonna do that. But here's the one I'm driving. 2020 Ford GT carbon fiber, man. This is no joke, all right? This is no joke. This is carbon fiber frame. Look it up, man. Hit it up on Google. Do whatever you gotta do. But this is all carbon fiber, man. Whole car is carbon fiber. This is the inside of the car. So I'm 6'2, 250. It's a squeeze in here for me, man. Super big squeeze. Y'all will see this on my channel a lot more, especially when we start traveling with these cars. But this one's crazy, man. This is why I talk to 2.5 million on this bitch. Air duct. This is one of one. There's no other one that is made like this. Carbon fiber wheels. I think they're about 12 pounds a wheel. Now we go to this one right here, man. This one's crazy. Everything in this Ferrari is factory. If you guys ever see the Ford vs. Ferrari movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what's going down. I'm not driving this one and I'm not with this guy, so I'm not gonna open up the doors and all that, because again, I got respect for these kind of cars. That's the back end of this. The motor. This has only got 3,400 miles on it too, man. This car gets trailered everywhere. He's owned this one for 20 years. He's only the second owner of this car. 